Hey witches, we are back with another breaking crystal news video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any breaking crystal news. On today's episode of breaking crystal news, we will be discussing terahertz. So what is terahertz anyways? And what does it look like? Let me know in the comment section down below if you have heard of or seen terahertz popping up in the market. And do you own any? So I have seen terahertz coming up in the supplier market so that's why I wanted to bring you this breaking news story today because there are a lot of misconceptions going on about terahertz so that's what we are going to be discussing today. So terahertz is actually a man-made stone. It is quite interesting though. So it's artificial artificially comprised of silicon and therefore not a natural stone. It was invented by a Japanese scientist to prevent against electromagnetic smog and harmful radiation. Terahertz is proven to conduct a high thermal conductivity and it melts ice extremely quickly and it becomes very hot even in seconds when placed in boiling water. These characters characteristics of terahertz confirm its authenticity, however doesn't prove any of its healing effects which many claims are made about terahertz. It's said that terahertz can help with energy levels and improve energy flow. It's often marketed that way. Some other health claims that terahertz is said to help with are pain relief, blood circulation, and temperature regulation. Do any of you guys own terahertz and have have you yourself experienced any of the healing effects it is claiming to help with? Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you believe that a man-made stone such as terahertz can actually provide you healing properties? And what do you feel about man-made stones in general? Some people love them and some people hate them. So some things to look out for when shopping for terahertz in the marketplace. There have been some claims made that I want to discuss here just so you are aware when shopping. There actually is a raw version of terahertz, but it isn't natural, which in a lot of my how to spot a fake crystal video, I usually tell you guys that raw means natural, but in this case, this is not true. The raw form of terahertz is still synthetic or man-made. So if you do see a raw version of terahertz, just know that it is not natural. It does, however, look very cool almost like something from outer space. I've also seen terahertz being sold as shungite and not only shungite but a rare form of shungite. I've seen a few examples of terahertz being sold as shungite where people believe it actually truly is shungite when in fact it's not in the shungite family at all. All. So be very careful if all of a sudden you're seeing a stone that looks like terahertz being sold as shungite and a lot of the times it's being marketed as a rare, more expensive version of shungite, hence why it looks so different. So just be really, really cautious if you see somebody selling you a rare new version of shungite because it actually is terahertz. So things to look out for whether it's the raw version or the polished version is the super super shiny metal look. That is in fact terahertz where shungite doesn't have that kind of look. So I'll put a picture up of true shungite and terahertz just so you guys can see the comparison side by side. And there have been many health claims for terahertz but there hasn't been any scientific or medical proof with terahertz actually helping with some of the things I stated before. So just be careful when buying terahertz that there are health claims being made and don't take those for replacements for real medical issues because some of the medical issues that it's claiming to help are a little bit more severe. So 100% if you want to wear terahertz or use it to help you heal, that is a okay, but obviously 
if it's a serious medical condition, don't solely rely on terahertz. So in conclusion, terahertz has been quickly popping up on the market, both on the supplier end and the retail end. And I've seen this in the raw stones, I've seen it a ton in bracelets, and I've seen it in spheres and towers. So it is popping up in many different types of ways. I think that this is going to become a trending stone and we will start to see it infiltrate the market in a bigger way. So whether you're a crystal seller or crystal buyer, just be aware that it's not always being disclosed that terahertz is man-made, especially on the supplier end, so therefore not being communicated on the retail side of things. So just keep an eye out when buying if you see it being called natural just know for yourself that it isn't natural but there is absolutely nothing wrong with man-made stones I have a collection of man-made stones I think man-made stones are beautiful I actually really like the raw version of terahertz and I'm looking to buy some for myself maybe even my shop because I think it looks really cool so there is nothing wrong with adding terahertz to your collection as long as you know that it is in fact not natural so what if you guys been told about terahertz have you seen it being marketed have you seen it being sold as rare or natural what have you seen out in the market I'd love to know in the comment section down below so that's it for this week's breaking crystal news on terahertz hopefully you guys found this helpful and hopefully you guys like this video if you do please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more breaking crystal news that I will try to bring you guys at least once a month if I have some brand new news and thank you guys again so much for watching so much for supporting and I will see you guys on the next one bye before I go a special thank you to all of my patrons you keep this channel alive and running if you're interested in joining my patreon I will leave a link in the description box down below this is a great way to show support to the channel or if you're looking for additional business advice I offer this as well so I look forward to seeing you on my Patreon.